Hello guys, this is the Adam. Welcome to the Adam Lab. This is the Adam. <laughs> this is Adam. Welcome to the Adam Lab. Today we will be testing the newest version of Unreal Engine 5 and that's 5.0.2. 5 we will be using the 16 inch MacBook Pro fully spec'd out, 8 terabyte of storage, 64 gigabyte of RAM, 32 core GPU, 10 core CPU. This machine is unplugged. The power is set on automatic and the charging right now is around 60%. I am recording the audio externally through my MacBook Air, which right here you can just see a little bit of color of it. Let's go ahead and get it started. So we will do, we will go ahead and play this. And by the way, what we are looking right here is the usage for the cores for the CPU and then here are the CPUs and here are the GPU. The reason it was at 100% before because it was uh, optimizing the shaders which I will get into how long it took for the shaders to be done and all of that. What we will do we will go ahead and play and then let's see moving inside would look like so moving inside so far is spotless it's fast there's nothing wrong with that and then i can tell we are getting at least 60 frames per second stable now what we will do we will actually show how much a frame rate uh, we do have we are seeing the frame rate and the frame rate that we are getting is a solid stock 60 frames it's not going up and it's not going down and that is great that's what you want when you are using a device what you want is to get 60 frames stable and the project is locked to 60 frames per second so all we are getting right now is 60 frames but what I will do I will increase the limit for the frame rate and we will see how many frame rates uh, we can get so let's go ahead and do that okay so right now we have the frame rate unlocked and what we are averaging is 75 frames so above the 60 frames that we were getting we are getting above right now it's going to 80 so it's bit i would say the average is around 75 that's what it's stable at but we can definitely go to 80 it can hit 80 but the main thing is it's definitely stable at 60 frames or even more now here it's saying lighting need to be rebuilt so we can just go ahead and tell it just to build all levels just to make sure that everything is being built as it should so i did build the lighting and everything and right now what we are averaging is actually 80 frames so there is that and we are good to go on that end where we are averaging actually now 85 frames instead of 70 so it keeps going up in some areas it's in the 80s and some areas it's in the 70s but it's never goes below 70 and the highest it hits is around 100 however your average right now is around 80 frames per second which means you can use it and build project and build project as complex as this and the name of the project is the sci-fi hall hallway and that's for unreal engine five and this is what we are getting in terms of a frame rate and in terms of a performance what i would like to see is how much memory we are using so with this project keep in mind everything is a closed and we are only using the battery life it's an automatic so nothing is being manipulated or anything like that what we are using memory wise is 14 gigabytes of ram which means <laughs> we are not even tapping into using the ram as much as we should the cpu is not suffering however the gpu is being used completely so here's what i will do i will start moving now inside again then see the usage for the cpu and then the gpu when it comes to the m1 max uh, the graphics being used to the max there is no doubt about that but the cpu is actually chilling so that gives you an idea of what you will be working with and what you will be dealing with we are still looking at an average of 80 going up to the 100s and then going down to around 75 minimum so this is a very decent performance for whatever machine you are comparing it to and whatever you want to compare it to you can definitely take 
take this information and then apply it with you and try to see what the performance and all of that. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about before I end this video is how much time it took from opening the device and opening the project and everything where everything need to be installed and all of that to actually having a usable project where you can move without the shaders being built 100%. It took 49 seconds. So from the time from opening the project to being able to navigate through the project, it took 49 seconds. Now, building the project completely from scratch with the shaders and everything, it took 26 seconds. So that's everything that I have for this video. I will definitely be testing more. If you have any questions or concerns or any stuff that you want them to be tested, you know to ask. And aside from that, happy 4th of July, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.